Let's start off, uh, Professor Freeman, with um, a book you've been working on called Field of Blood, Congressional Violence in America. Congressional violence, normally when we hear about Congress, we don't think about violence. That's true. Um, the book is really about the, the couple of decades, the 1830s and 40s and 50s, before the Civil War. Um, and it's about actual physical violence. Um, pushing, shoving, pulling of bowie knives, pulling of pistols, um, mass melees with 20 or 30 guys sort of wrestling each other. Um, and part of what I'm talking about in the book is there's a lot more of it than people realize. A lot of it's hidden. You have to search for it and find it. Um, and once you do, you sort of realize it was, a, I mean, America was a violent place, but Congress was a violent place in this period, too. So I'm looking, I'm, I've sort of cataloged a lot of it, and now I'm trying to look at what, some of the implications What's of it. going on there? Why, why, why did Congress, of all places, become such a violent place? Well, in, in part, I mean, America was violent, politics was violent, and legislatures tended to be violent. So partly, it's not just Congress, but Congress in this period is involved in all these sort of major union-shaking issues. And part of what's going on with the violence is Southerners and Southern-born Westerners tend to be the aggressors. So particularly over time, which if you're talking about something that has to do with slavery, and you're a Southerner or a Southern-born Westerner, and you want to shut somebody up, that's a, it's really effective to reach for your Bowie knife. That, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. And, and this, is, this is part of the context. You, you brought this up in a discussion today on, on, on Congress and poli politics in, in general. Did you find people sort of surprised at the, the level of, of violence, of, of, of um, emotion that was going on in Congress? We don't see that in Congress now. We do see emotion. That's true. Um, I mean, I, I do think, generally speaking, our image of Congress in this period is Clay Calhoun and Webster sort of, you know, <laughs> making great words. Um, so yeah, you're, it, it isn't the image. And so I think people, they're not surprised that there was some violence, because there's the really famous caning of Charles Sumner. Um, so, and whenever I say congressional violence, everyone what, says, oh, yeah. there's, yes, there's Charles Sumner, but there's, you know, 119 other incidents in which people are doing something physical in some way or another. And I think people do become very surprised, and particularly given that a lot of it is in the House and Senate chambers. Um, it just doesn't tend to be put in the period's equivalent of the congressional record. It's kind of censored out. So it hasn't been apparent, and people haven't looked for it because they didn't know it was there.